welcome back to Creative Maple. Today in Shop Shorts, we're going to be taking a look at a tabletop for a farmhouse table that we're building and a few tricks and tips to help you make sure that the tabletop you're building comes out exactly the way you want it. Here's the deal. Whenever you're doing a layout of your tabletop, you wanna make sure that you get everything kind of the same way each time that you put it back in, in order. I like to just give a rough estimate based on the initial layout. This is before everything has been jointed well um, and everything's getting ready to be finally glued up. Um, and I just like to take a red lumber marker or lumber crayon and just mark it. So I mark a nice big triangle on it um, and it doesn't have to be anything special. However, whenever the wood is rough, it's, it kind of can become difficult. So like I said, this is not to be precise. Um, it's just to give you a rough idea as to where you want all the pieces to go. I actually take this and I'll, I'll drag it along like this so that I'm not getting pulled off by each piece of lumber as it kind of goes this way. And it kind of gives me a better, a better line. So I will actually take it and I'll just draw it down like that. And then I'll draw the other one down just like that all the way to the edge it makes a nice big triangle um, some people and I do this too by the way um, some people like to put a line here though if you do a big triangle it's not necessary if I'm putting in a dowel or I'm putting in a biscuit or I have a domino that I want to put in I want to make sure that that's marked precisely so that's where I use a pencil now. I will take a straight edge and make sure that my straight edge is in the exact spot that I need it. I will make sure that it all lines up or lines up perfectly with where I want the biscuits to be. And then I will take my pencil and I'll drag it across like that. Now I have a small piece here up in the top corner and a small piece right here. So I wanna make sure that I, wherever these smaller pieces are, where they need to be jointed well. I want to make sure that I'm lining them up well, so I put two biscuits. Now remember, a biscuit is not to add strength. The only thing adding strength to this is actually the glue. But a domino, on the other hand, which is a loose tenon, it will add some strength. And a dowel will add some strength, um, though not nearly as much as a domino. It's not necessary, though. The glue should be sufficient. The wood will break before the glue does. After I get done with the straight line, I will draw another triangle separate from the one that I had already drawn before because typically I will have moved things around a little bit. So I will go through and I will actually draw another triangle on this, this piece. I'll go through and I'll make sure that I have this like this. And by the way, I'm doing more of a trapezoid than a triangle on this one just because I have a longer table here. I want to make sure that it's, it fits nicely. And I just take them and I mark them all the way down here like that. And that will help me line it up. You can see that each one of my lines that I had previously drawn matches up nicely. And each place that I have one of these lines drawn, there is a biscuit that joins this board to this board and this board to this board and so on. Once I've gotten to this point and it's time to start putting the wood together. As long as I have everything lined up, this is the last time I'm going to need these lines. I hope that helps a little bit when you are thinking about putting together your table, and uh, I think it'll go together well if you follow those steps. 